Oh, again. There were a few things that I left out when I did this video earlier today, so I thought I'd put them in now, give you a little bit more information about it. Uh, first of all, I'm running on just about a volt and a half. It seems to run very well right there. And also, on the uh, wiring diagram here, I uh, removed that 10K pot and replaced the uh, 100 ohm resistor with a 220 ohm resistor. That seems to work very well. Uh, see if I can get a little better picture of this for you. Than I did last time. <laughs> See if I take it off flower here for a second. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. Now on this guy here. Let me get some of this stuff off of here. Calm him. Calm all my little uh, light generators down. And this guy here, I wanted to point out that this tube here is a brass tube. It's not a solid brass rod. I'm going to shut it down. Uh, to hold the little ball bearing that I have on the bottom in place, what I did is I nipped the top of one of these little end caps off and I slid it on the other end of the shaft leaving a little bit of a stick out and then I put the ball in there and that holds it there very nicely uh, if you can see it here or not then on the bottom with some double uh, back tape I just stuck a little uh, little mirror for the ball to write on that works out very nicely and you'll see a couple of goofy looking things here I'll take this one out <laughs> But what it is, is a little suction cup that came on the back of these little makeup mirrors that I used for the other projects. It came out of these holes here. I just took them and uh, bent them in half and stuck them in there. <laughs> they help hold the uh, little uh, nylon bushing in place like so. And that works very nicely. Fire back up. On the uh, coils, the radio shack coils, you get three rolls when you uh, uh, buy the package for about, I don't know, what, six and a half bucks. And I just used the 26 and the 30 out of it for my coils. And then what I did is I took and put some little brass screws in here for. Uh, contacts, you know, to, for, for terminals on both sides. That worked out pretty nice. And I have two uh, longer brass screws going all the way through and they're holding them that distance apart. And they're setting in little slots I cut in the wood. So you can see them there. And that's about all there is to it. And uh, with a volt and a half, it's got plenty of power to run my uh, <laughs> my little uh, light generators. I'm sure you can see that runs runs pretty good. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>